Good evening and welcome to another evening of prayer. I hope that you and those you love are still healthy. Well, it has been another dramatic week of changes since we last gathered for prayer last Wednesday. Last week, we focused on our Lutheran history with racism, on the protests and the police, as well as continuing to pray for those who are still very much involved with the COVID pandemic. Since last Wednesday, the protests have grown as well as the will to right the wrongs of systemic racism. And the numbers of those who are sick and dying from COVID have shrunk, along with the will to maintain the health precautions that we have been observing these last three months. In fact, Governor Cuomo has moved for the opening of church this Sunday, a month ahead of schedule. And I have been scrambling to make it possible for us to gather at Grace this Sunday in a way that will be safe and comfortable for everyone. But watch for more on that in your email, on Facebook, YouTube, and in a phone call very soon. As Grace opens again tonight, our last may be our last evening prayer. So we're going to be praying that the decisions that are being made by our leadership regarding racial tensions and public health will continue to be on a good course that they seem to be on tonight. And we will be praying that as we begin to return to social interaction again, that everyone remembers that Christians are to love our neighbors as Christ loved us, which means we may need to make a little sacrifice in our comfort or our convenience to protect those around us. Now, let's pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Our gospel lesson for this evening comes from the Gospel of John, the 13th chapter. Jesus is having the Passover with his disciples, and during the meal he takes off his, coat, his robe and ties a towel around his waist and goes about washing the disciples' feet. When he is finished, he puts his robe back on, and he puts away the towel, and he sits down, and he says to them, Do you know what I have done? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your teacher and your Lord, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set for you an example that you should do as I have done. Rest assured, servants are not greater than their master, nor messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Little children, I am with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment that you love one another, 
Just as I have loved you, you ought to want to love one another. In loving one another, everyone will know that you are my disciples. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Holy and gracious God, I confess that I have sinned against you this day. Some of my sin I know, the thoughts and the words of deeds of which I am ashamed, but some is known only to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask your forgiveness. Deliver and restore me that I may rest in peace. By the mercy of Jesus Christ, we are united with God and in him we are forgiven. We rest now in his peace and we rise in the morning to serve him. Our second lesson comes from the letter to the Galatians, the sixth chapter. Now by this we may be sure that we know him if we obey his commandments. Whoever has said, I have come to know him, but does not obey his commandment, is a liar, and such a person, truth does not exist. But whoever obeys his word, truly, 
the person, this, in this person, the love of God has reached perfection. By this, we may be sure that we are in him. Whoever says, I abide in him, ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing to you no new commandment, but an old commandment that you've had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new commandment that is true in him and in you because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. Whoever says, I am in the light, while hating a brother or sister, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves a brother or sister lives in the light, and in such a person there is no cause for stumbling. But whoever hates a bel another believer is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and does not know the way to go because the darkness has brought on blindness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in his peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Listen to my cry. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. In righteousness I shall see you. When I awake, your presence will give me joy. Let us pray. Be present, merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and the chances of life may find our rest in you. Lord of peace, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing on the many who are anxious and afraid this night. Come to them with your presence, that they will know peace and find rest from their troubles. To those who are struggling to breathe, give breath. To those racked with fever, bring relief. To those who are weary in their serving and care of others, give strength and patience. Lord of peace, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray your blessing upon the decisions that the Governor, Governor Cuomo and his staff are making as we leave our sequestering behind and reemerge to do our work to go shopping and to come to church. Inspire our own individual responsibility to ourselves and our love for our neighbors, that we will continue to respect the need to be vigilant against the recurrence of the widespread passing of the virus. Lord of peace, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for an end to the inequities of our society of every kind and to the hardships and pain these bring to too many who deserve equal opportunities and equal respect. Broaden our commitment and our perspectives beyond the transient and frenzied attention of the media that we will commit ourselves to making meaningful changes over the long haul in our own perceptions, our own actions, and our own advocacy on behalf of those who need our solidarity. Lord of peace, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly ask that you hear the prayers we offer for ourselves in this moment. O oh Lord, support us all the day long of this troubled life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes and the busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us a safe lodging and a holy rest and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And as we have been taught, we also pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.